I would want everybody to know that Mismatched is written by a woman, is headed by a woman. It's important to underline that this is something made by a woman, this is something written by a woman, because there are such few role models. So if we don't, like, at least at this stage, when there's such small percentage of women actually um, creating stuff, if you don't particularly highlight that, then you're not like creating enough role models, I think, for the newer generation of creators who are wanting to come in. It's important to, I think, say it out there that a woman is the lead writer or the creator of such and such show because there are such few of us. So the limitations are, are many and I think I would want everybody to know that Mismatched is written by a woman, is headed by a woman. Um, so I'm going to gender it. I'm going to say a female writer. There's no point in overthinking what you will be perceived as. Just do what you have to do. You know, once the work is done and it's good, then people stop thinking about whether you're a man or a woman. It's only while you're getting the work done do people question, can she, will she be able to, what is this method she's using? So I think a long time ago stopped thinking about what, if I'm a woman, then I should behave like this. I just thought I'll do my work and if people find it a little harsh or a little too emotional or a little too whatever, it's not my problem. I'm getting the work done and then later the, my gender won't matter.